Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on different ways of showing numbers. Numbers that we use in everyday life can be represented in many different ways. Consider the number 1234 which is 1234. The following are some of the ways that this number can be represented. The first way it's a thousand plus two hundred plus thirty plus four. The second way is one times a thousand plus two times a hundred plus three times ten plus four times one. The third way is one times ten to the power of three plus two times ten to the power of two plus 3 times 10 plus 4 times 1. And the fourth way is by using base 10 blocks where that's a thousand, that's 200 there altogether, 10, 20, 30, so that part is 30, and there are four single blocks. While there are a few other ways of representing the number 1234, the above four ways will be sufficient for our purposes. 1, 2, 3, 4 is the numeral form. 1,234, that's the part in red, is the way we write it in words. So here are some exercises. Write each of the following numerals in words. So there's the first one there. And there's the answer. Just read it to yourself. Number two, please read that to yourself. There is number three, and that's the answer. Number four, with the answer. Number five, that's the written form. Number six. The written form. Number seven. That's how we write it. And finally number eight. And that's how it's written. The following are the expanded ways we saw earlier regarding the writing of numerals. For each example, write the numeral itself. So for 7000 plus 600 plus 80 plus 4, the answer is 7684. 9 times 10 to the power of 3 plus 4 times 10 squared plus 6 times 10 plus 7 times 1 is 9467. 9467. For the third example, 4 times 1000 plus 5 times 100 plus 9 times 10 plus 5 times 1 is 4591. And the fourth example, so that's a thousand and that's a thousand. So altogether, there are two of those, so that must be two thousand. There are three of those. Each of those is one hundred, so that must be three hundred. There are six of these, and each one of them's ten, so that must be sixty. And there are eight singles, so that must be eight. So the answer is two thousand three hundred and sixty-eight. Finally, if we understand all the above ways of writing numerals, it will make the next few lessons on number work much easier. So the next few lessons will be a continuation of this one and it'll just give you some extra understanding as we work through them.